NBA basketball. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us are here at 2K Sports as we get ready to start the season in style. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is on our sideline. We've got the visiting team facing the home team. You know, Clark, some say slow and steady wins the race. That's been the approach for Ready, both of these two teams. Ready? Well, there are a lot of different ways, Kevin, to have success on the basketball court. We like the high-octane, up-and-down approach. We've seen that work, but it's also possible for teams to be effective in the half court, taking quality shots, controlling the pace a little more, and high-level execution becomes a premium then. And I think both these coaches know they've got to have the style and speed that fits their lineup, fits the guys they've got on that roster. Coach to your personnel. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. We've got Tiny. Sanders is out there with McDaniels. Then there's Irvin. And it's Holmes in at the three. And guys, this is what you like to see early on, gaining a little confidence from range. Yeah, and you know it, Greg. Oftentimes, you get that first one to drop, and your confidence rises like yeast. It's good to get into a rhythm at the start of the game, no doubt. Here's Vaughn. And Sanders pulls it down. You can see he just rushed that a little bit. Lost the focus, I think. A shot by McDaniels. No good. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Kenny Atkinson and I got a chance to talk for just a bit. He told me he's looking forward to the matchup tonight. It's their first time against this team, so he is curious to see what his guys do on offense. He said it's important that we're aggressive defensively, that we use our length and shot blocking as a deterrent inside. We'll see if they can be successful tonight. Kevin, back to you. Thanks for the report, David. So their focus, guys, is going to be on defense right away. And that's always a good philosophy. Don't, don't let an opponent get settled. Try to take them out of their game early. And, you know, that's all about energy. Coming out with fresh legs and putting a lot of effort into the defense. Great effort, terrific instincts. That's just solid all-around play, Kevin. Now, here's Sanders. He's tightly guarded. Here's McDaniels. Pocket six. Shoots over King. A nice shot by McDaniel. McDaniels got his first bucket of the night. Gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. The captain passes to King. Here's G. Pass to Vaughn. Here's K. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. Gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Here's McDaniels. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Vaughn, the pass to G. Here's the captain, covered by Irving. Now here's King. D right on him. Passes it to G. King outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires from the wing. And Irving pulls it down. Gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. Holmes kicks to Sanders. Back to Holmes. Here's Lloyd. And that one hits back iron. Been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Two 
the first one falls. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Here's McDaniels. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Irving passes to McDaniels. Now King. He kicks to G, lets the three fly, and Sanders pulls it down. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. A shot by McDaniels, no good. Gone 0 of 2 from deep here. There's the pass to King. Got it from 16 feet. Yeah, quick trigger. And from that range, if he senses the defenders have backed off, forget about it. And Sanders kicks to Irving. Back to Sanders. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Sanders has got five points so far. And really all credit to the pass there. I mean, he angled it just right. Set up the basket beautifully. G passes to King. Off with the layup gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. And here's Sanders. He has five. Pass to McDaniels. Over Timmerman. A nice shot by McDaniels. McDaniels got his third bucket of the night. McDaniels gone 50% from the field. Three of six. Passes it to the captain. Out left to the wing. To Vaughn. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three point play. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. And the regular season officially begins. Most rookies around the league, Clark, will have their eyes wide open. I mean, wow, what an eye opening experience to play with this speed, this talent. How nervous were you going back to that time in your life? How nervous were you on opening night? Very nervous. Really excited, but there were some butterflies that I had to work really hard at trying to get them to fly in What's formation up? because they were all <laughs> over the place, Kevin. But ultimately, once you get out there and you break that first sweat or you get that first hit or bucket, then it simply becomes basketball. But prior to that pregame meal, your nap before the game, the butterflies are doing their own thing. Here is Slim. The kick out to Irving. No good from outside. Here's Shades to the inside. Gains the pass to Vaughn. Now the pass to Gaines. Just four to shoot. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. And just enough wiggle room to get off his shot. Yeah, I like the quick release, Greg. He does a nice job getting it up quickly, especially when he's facing a bigger defender. Here's Vaughn. Pass to Sharp. Now Gaines. Shoots. Still looking for his first make after that miss. He's 0 for 2. Gotten 6 of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Here's Stone. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Passes to Lloyd. Can't get it to fall. Gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Pass to Gaines. Fires for 3. 
No good that time. Gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's Stone, the pass to Doyle. And he overshot that one, missing. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Here's Gaines, and they cash in right away with the quick shot. Gaines has got his first points of the night, being around 46% at this point. Here's Stone. Over Vaughn. And the basket by Stone. There's 154 left in the first quarter. Here's Sharp. And it goes out of bounds. A last touch by Irving. Raz is checked in for Tiny. Here's Vaughn. Cranes it from nine feet away. Vaughn's got his second bucket of the night. Boy, I tell you what, what a well-designed play. Executed beautifully, too. Kicks it to Douglas. The 17-footer. No good. Shot missing. Being well off their usual numbers, around 29% so far. Gains the pass to Vaughn. Stolen away. One sixteen left in the first quarter. Here is Slim. Pass to Stone. Six on the shot clock. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. Yeah, you know, some of it's shot selection, some just bad luck, and they just can't get anything going. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they've been a bit unlucky. Some of it is poor shot selection in a slump, no doubt. But it can be turned around. They just need to find ways to score the ball. Gone over three from three point land. Nothing yet going outside. Vaughn, the pass to Thunder. He kicks it to Gaines. Passes it to Thunder. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Gone 50% from the field in the first quarter, 8 of 16. Here is Slim, Irving. Rebound by Gaines. That's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You got to protect the rim. Mm -hmm. Textbook defense all around. Nice job at contesting the shot without fouling. And that's how you do it. Well done. Here is Slim. Pass to Stone. From downtown, he doesn't hit that one. So at the end of one quarter play, it's still a close game. The away team, they're up by two. We'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And 
Close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, in the visiting team, what do you think? Just playing suffocating defense. Yeah, that's been the difference here forever. You know, Greg, I love watching this team get after it on defense. I mean, they play with a bit of edge and nastiness. About 42% so far. They've got the machine. Miracle Man is out there with Vaughn. Then it's the magician and it's Thunder in at the four. Here's Doyle. Now the pass to Slim. Down to five on the shot clock. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. One of the buzzwords we hear all the time now, Clark, two-way player. But when you were out there, everyone had to be, a, it seemed to me, a two-way player. Yeah, you know what? I think it's interesting when you see some of these terms that come into vogue. There's not much that's new under the sun in terms of the game. And clearly, two-way players were as valued in the past, even before me, as they are now. I, I just think it's part of the language of the game now where it's more prevalent. The first one falls. Kings checked in for Vaughn. And so he hits both. Well, I tell you what, like how cool and collected he was getting the job done at the line in this one. Slim is out there with Stone. Then there's Prez. Then it's Silk. And it's Irving at the five. Pass to Shades. Kicks to Gaines. Finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. And we've played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Out to the right wing. Here is Slim. They get it back. Off on the layup. In just 35%, they've got to get better looks. Passes it to Shade. It's good. This game is all even. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. He makes that one drop only a second and five tries. Now Gaines. Pass to King. Takes the 13-footer. Another miss for him. Now shooting one for four from the floor. Here is Slim. He has six. Douglas surveying the D. Back to Irving. He kicks to Douglas. And here's the fast break. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And he knocks down the first one. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Now here's Sanders. He's guarded closely. The layup off target. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Exactly. Can't play it any better than that, Greg. Here's Timmerman. Second shot opportunity, and the layup is good. And that's exactly why you got to box him out, because when you don't, that's what happens. He burns you on the glass. Now, here's Sanders. Tight defense on him. 
And there's the pass to Douglas. Back to Sanders. G with the rebound. G's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Gaines dishes to G. Pass to the captain. Gaines kicks to G. Passes it to K. Six to shoot. Here is Gaines. Covered by Irving. Gaines, no luck. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Right wing. Irving from long range. Rebound by Gaines. Gone 50% from a four in the second quarter. Three of six. Inside. And yes, it's good. Six points for the captain. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's McDaniels. He's got six. Down low, Irving. And Irving throws it down. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. Here is Gaines. With some arc. Here's Meekins. Can't hit the free throw line jump. That's good offense. The shot didn't go down, but they'll live with that. Here's McDaniels. Shoots over King. The shot by McDaniels. No good. Baller passes to the captain. It's good. The captain's got six in the quarter. Well, I like the first quarter he had. I mean, and I'm loving the second quarter even more. Playing with a lot of momentum right now. Here's McDaniels. It's blocked. Defended by Douglas. King outside. Here's Meekins. Off target from outside. Here's McDaniels. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. McDaniels got eight. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. Pass to G. Gets that one to drop. First one of the game after four straight misses. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter, but you can just feel the momentum starting to shift. Yeah, things are starting to look up. I mean, they're making amends for that slow start. Finding a rhythm right now. In the NBA, Clark, great offense sometimes overcomes great defense. The fadeaway jumper, an example of one of the more unstoppable shots players make. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, you think of guys like Dirk fade away and fade eight ten feet away from you and still get that shot off so those two guys i mean if you're talking about major fadeaways currently in the last decade i don't think you can find anybody that would top him Checked in for Miracle Man. Thing is definitely lagging at the moment. They're just 30% in the second quarter. Here's McDaniels. Eight points for him. Down low. Lets it fly. And it's King with the rebound. Gone 6 of 11 from the floor. 
over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. The pass to Vaughn. To the inside. Here's Timmerman. Buries the seven-footer. The captain's got ten points in the game. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Sanders, high post. Five points in the game. Gone 0 or 2 from deep here in the second. Three pointer. Drops in the tray. He's got 10. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make a pay. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Here's Slim. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. They've got Miracle Man, the magician out there with Thunder. Then there's Baller, and it's Sharp, and it's the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here is Games. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Shays can't hit. And I think all the credit goes to the defense there, Kevin. Exceptional job getting the shooter to rush that layup. Silk is out there with Prez. And it's Tiny. Then there's Slim. And it's Stone. And at the point. Pass to Slim. Five on the clock. To halt the run. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Gone old 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. They've got Thunder. The magician out there with the machine. Then there's the Miracle Man, and it's Kay in the two spot. Gaines gets the bucket. Resplendent release on the floater. When executed correctly, it's a beautiful, effective shot. Trez out there with Tiny. Then there's Slim, and it's Silk, and it's Stone, and at the point guard position. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one hand, whole punch. Pass to Kay. Here's Shays, defended by Douglas. Shays can't hit. Gone one of four and three point shots here in the third. Uncovered. A shot that time, not on target. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Incredible, incredible body control right there. Don't know how he was able to get that one to go. But it sure was a thing of beauty to watch. One shot. They're looking now at a sizable deficit. And there's still time left, so they don't necessarily have to really rush the game. They need to avoid that. Here's Stone. He's got six. There's the pass to Lloyd. Lock at six. Here's Slim. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. One falls for him. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency, Greg, as you know, so critical 
when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Vaughn's checked in for Miracle Man. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Vaughn. He's got 14. Pass to Kay. Here's Vaughn. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. We're hearing more players and coaches express their political beliefs, their social concerns, trying to, in a positive way, affect change club. And Kevin, I applaud it, respect it, admire it, and can't get enough of it. As long as players and coaches are well informed about that, which they talk about, and most of the NBA guys are. And I think it's important that wherever we are in life that we use our platforms to express our views. That's part of what being a citizen of this country is about. So I don't think you necessarily compartmentalize your life. There are issues that are dear to you that you want to speak out on and educate yourself about, then you use your platform for that purpose while performing your job, which just happens to be playing NBA basketball or coaching NBA basketball. Here's Vaughn to the wing on the left. Shays can't hit. Um, you know, this just hasn't been his quarter. I mean, he doesn't seem to be comfortable at all, particularly shooting. I mean, he knows he's struggling right now. Yep, that one goes. That's 12 points for Slim. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Vaughn, Sanders covering. There's 138 left in the fourth quarter. Here's the captain. Shot clock at six. Kicks it to G. Passes it to the captain. Here's Meekins. No good off the back of the rim. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Vaughn is out there with Baller. Then it's the machine. Then it's G. And it's the captain in at the three slot. Gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Sanders with the steal. Pass to McDaniels. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Well, here in the fourth quarter, 50%. On the pass to Sharp. Now the feed to G. Now the pass to Sharp. Just five to shoot. From deep three point range, Vaughn can't get it to go. <laughs> Just testing out the cannon on that misfire. <laughs> That certainly was a deep one. I mean, maybe move in a little bit next time. There's no such thing as a four-point line. Here's Vaughn. Pass to Sharp. Here's Vaughn. Here's G. Sanders covering. Meekins. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. At the line. Meekins. At the line for two. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Good on the first, and that will push the lead to double digits. And G drops them both. 
And that's the knockout blow right there, guys. Those free throws should put this one away. And timeout call by Kenny Atkinson. What's your take, guys? Yeah, this has been rough all the way around. I mean, coming in with high hopes and then just now trying to finish the best they can. Well, Greg, this one's clearly over. This is done. But hopefully they can find some momentum to carry into the next game. And our Jordan player of the game, B-Train. And, and tell you what, he's worked very hard to get himself in good position throughout the course of this game. And that comes across in his shooting percentage. He's hit over half his shots from the field. And that's not because he got hot as much as it's because of the effort he put in to get himself open. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. First free throw is good, and that brings them to within 10. And he makes both free throws. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so they get the victory here at home. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.